All right, guys, so just a quick video about the unbelievable fight that we saw last night. Uh, Tyson Fury v Deontay Wilder. I was at the fight a few rows back, absolutely mind-blowing view. And first thing I want to say is uh, that was the best fight I've ever seen live. And if I watched it on TV, I'd probably say it would be the best fight I've ever seen. Uh, just absolutely unbelievable and to see it in person. Two absolute giants smashing each other's sword and showing so much heart and character and taking huge shots and being absolutely at that point of exhaustion where you've just got nothing left and still managing to get up off the floor and still fight and show that much heart. Um, just mind blowing stuff like superhuman uh, stuff which is why we love boxing and why we love heavyweight boxing. Anything can happen, it's, it's so unpredictable. So the atmosphere in the arena was good. It was a, little, a bit disappointing without having the British fans there to keep that super high energy and that passion. But with the pandemic, it is what it is. But a great atmosphere, plenty of celebrities ringside. We saw Magic Johnson there, we saw Dustin Johnson, the golfer. We saw, uh, I can't even remember now, a few, a few others. Um, boxers Ryan Garcia was there, Danny Garcia, um, Devin Haney. So it's just a good atmosphere, a good vibe, super like that big fight feel where you get the nerves, you get the adrenaline. And I really wanted, from a personal point of view, I really wanted Tyson Fury to win this fight. I just think he's amazing for boxing. And I really wanted him to make that point that he is the better boxer and the, and the, the more superior fighter of the two, which coming off the first and second fight, I truly believed he showed that. And I didn't really feel going into this fight that it was necessary, but as the fight got closer and things built up, I did get really excited for this fight and I think it was needed, I think the trilogy fight was needed just to kind of make that point that he, he is the better of the two and put that seal, of, uh, that stamp on it, that seal on it. So with that said, uh, with Wilder coming in a lot heavier, a lot more muscle on his body, the first thing I thought was that that was going to be a negative thing because at heavyweight, yes you want the, the weight and the power behind the punches. And I think they put the weight on not only to, to make sure that the power was gonna be amplified in his in his shots, but also to be able to uh, stand with Fury on the inside and not allow him to tie him up and push him back and bully him uh, up close. Uh, but what I did think was gonna happen with that extra muscle on the body, and kind of similar to what we saw with Andy Joshua, who's kind of muscle bound too, the endurance fades over the rounds. If you look at the build of Usyk and, um, and Fury, who's not very muscle bound, their, their engines are incredible. They can do 12 rounds, no problem. And they've been doing it for so long. The, the experience of 12 rounds is, is, is a huge factor in this. So I felt that extra weight on Wilder was gonna slow him down the stretch. He doesn't have huge legs. He doesn't have a, a, a strong lower body. Um, so I always felt that the, the, the extra muscle up top was gonna hit him later on in the fight. Uh, so uh, as I put on my Instagram story, my prediction, I expected Wilder to start really sharp and he started with the jab to the body and he was looking good and he was pushing uh, Fury back a little bit and looking for that right hand, which he's always gonna do. But he looked a little bit more technically sound and a little bit more unbalanced. You could tell that he'd been working on the fundamentals and his strategy and uh, approach was a lot more, uh, more thought out. And I thought the first couple of rounds, I even had Wilder winning the first couple of rounds. Then round three, and again, it comes down to the experience. Fury sees what's going on in front of him, and then bang, he can he knows what to do with it. And then in round three, we saw the knockdown. Uh, one of the best, like rounds three and four, and then Fury getting dropped in round four, just switching up for that split second, squaring up, just slowly walking in, bang, meets that right hand full on. Um, round three and four, just incredible action, just no idea which way the fight was gonna go. And for Fury to get off the floor again, that right hand that Wilder landed has knocked out, uh, you know, 90 plus percent of uh, Wilder's opponents. That puts big guys to sleep. So for Fury to be able to take that shot, get off the floor again, just absolutely mind blowing how much heart and passion and drive that that fight that that guy's got in him. And it just comes from genetics, I think. It's, you know, it's his family's history of, of fighting and where they come from. It's the kind of stuff you can't teach. And then from there, Fury getting back into the fight, started dominating Wilder. And then kind of similar to the second fight where once Fury started to get on top, we started to see Wilder fade a little bit. The shots were getting to him, but you could just, you can see that like lack of stamina and endurance once it got to like six, seven, eight. 
you can see Wilder start to look tired. There's no snap in the, in the feet. He's not moving as sharp as he is in the first few rounds. And I think that's always gonna be kind of Wilder's issue with somebody who forces him to move on the back foot is the, the endurance factor. So uh, yeah, he did look faded. And based off what happened in the second fight, I, I expect him to fade a lot quicker. Once we saw Fury start to get on top again after he recovered from the knockdown, I was expecting like round round six and seven, Wilder looking absolutely gassed and hanging on for dear life. I thought it was like eight, it was gonna be done. So absolute mega credit to Wilder for hanging on and getting through to 12 because he looked absolutely out on his feet by like seven and eight. And uh, to get through that and even land some big punches coming back, just shows you the, the heart that he's got too. And um, you know, there's no reason why he can't come again. I just feel like Fury's He's never going to beat Fury, he's just too good, but um, all the other heavyweights in the division, Wilder is still a very dangerous fight for people like Joshua, Usyk, Ruiz, uh, Dillian White, all those uh, other, other fighters now in the heavyweight division. Wilder's always going to be a threat to them, and we've seen he, he is up for the fight. So, uh, yeah, the levels showed in the end. We knew Fury had the levels and the skill set and the experience. Uh, coming in, we knew he had the confidence coming in from the first two fights, so I always kind of expected Fury to win, and just seeing him get off the canvas again to do it just made the win even more impressive. Uh, for Fury, I don't think it was necessarily his best performance. You could see maybe a little bit of ring rust and the extra weight, a little bit. He didn't look as sharp and snappy and as explosive as he was in the in the first and second fight, but uh, yeah, just mind blowing. Still knows how to get the job done, obviously, and. Yeah, unbelievable performance. A little bit disappointing at the end uh, with Wilder not uh, showing the respect. I don't like seeing that. Uh, hopefully that'll change over the next few days once he's had a chance to let the dust settle and he's cleared up. Uh, I, I really hope that Wilder comes out and shows Fury some respect for the for the victory. Uh, that's what we want in boxing. It's a gentleman's sport. Once you get beat by a better man, got to show sportsmanship and respect. So hopefully that we'll see that in the next few days or weeks. But uh, yeah, once again, just an amazing fight and the heavyweight division is on fire. Uh, next, we have Joshua and Usyk coming up in, in March, I think the rematch. I can't see uh, Joshua beating Usyk. I think Usyk wins again, uh, lining up a big heavyweight uh, unification fight in the summer next year of Usyk Fury, which is the battle of the skill. The two most skillful boxers in the heavyweight division. Um, and I think it's gonna be unbelievable. But we've still got Josh Rustic to go till we get there, so we'll see what happens with that. Just an absolute privilege to be there, uh, witness boxing history, and uh, yeah, just this what this is sport is all about. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave me your comments, your thoughts, and feedback on on the fight if you watched it. Uh, if you have your thoughts on what's next in the heavyweight division, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Let's get into a discussion. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And a uh, big, big respect to uh, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Boxing is a, in a good place right now with, with people like that in the heavyweight division. So uh, yeah, take care guys. Thanks for watching.